Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be making a game called Follow the Line. Um, so basically, there's a truck and it will follow the black line. So what you do in the beginning, it follows your mouse and when you click, it will just point to a random direction. And once it hits the line, it will start following it as you can see. And every time you click the play button, it will randomize a different map and we have three different tracks for the truck. So let's click play again. Hopefully we'll get another one. Nope. Yeah, so you, as you can see here, we have another one. All of them have different like uh, different attributes. This one has like a little swerve down here. Um, and we have one more, one last one. This is our last one. So you guys can make your own. Um, it's pretty simple to make these tracks. So you can see it will try to follow the line. So yeah, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing today. Um, it's going to be called the line follower. So, without further ado, let's hop right into a new project. So, let's start a new project. Okay, so first, let's delete the scratch chat. We will not need it. And we're going to rename this project to follow the line. So, line. Line. Follow the line. And then, uh, we're going to get the truck. The truck, and then, uh, inside the truck, uh, we have this type, we just basically drew this truck. It's just, uh, like, there's like, let's duplicate this. I'll show you what's in it. We have some wheels. These are the wheels. And here we have, like, some, like, panel on the top. I don't know what it's for, but, um, basically, it's just, like, let's ungroup it. I'll show you. It's one, it's, like, one, uh, black, like, frame. And then we have a white, like, gray square. And then we have some lines. So we don't want to put this all into one, like one full like outline with the fill, because it will actually cover this thing. And if you make it go to the top, this will actually be on top of the black, and it will not make it look very good. And then we have this is the base of the truck, and these are the wheels. This is the sensing. The red triangle is for sensing to move forward. Uh, the blue circles to go to the left. Reds, uh, like the pink circles to the right. And we made it a triangle because it's different from these two. So you can, it's straight, so it faces the forward. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the train. I'm gonna draw the train. So let's paint a new sprite. So here we have our train finally finished. Took us a while. Um, truck, I guess. Yeah, it's a truck, I guess. We finally finished it. Took us a while. Um, probably gonna time lapse this part. So we time we're gonna time lapse it. So then uh, we'll speed things up. We'll just give you a basic like understanding of how to draw a truck like this. But you can always export it straight from our project or from the link in the description. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The truck. So we're just gonna delete it. We're gonna be using the original one. And inside our backdrop, we're gonna just like drag in our different costumes. So we have different tracks. What we do is just draw a giant square 
uh, with outline with no fill with 20 and then we just use the reshape tool to reshape it to make it kind of look like a track so we made just we just made three for now but you guys can make whatever you want how, how much ever you want so yeah, that's pretty much it for the tracks so to use the reshape tool I'm just gonna show you real quick how to use it you select it and then you use this and then you can drag whatever you want you can maybe put this in or something yeah so basically that's how you do the reshape tool it's pretty easy to use but you have to be in vector mode to use the reshape tool so you should keep everything in vector mode okay so inside the truck we're gonna go to the truck and then in the truck for the code it's pretty simple so when green flag clicked let's zoom in we're going to get a forever go to the mouse pointer go to the mouse pointer and if mouse down then we will broadcast a message called drop car so in the beginning you can you're able to like put wherever you want the truck to be so we're gonna name it drop truck so we put the truck wherever we want and then we're gonna stop the script after you have dropped the truck so we're gonna stop the script and then we're gonna receive the message drop truck and then we're gonna make it point in direction of pick random so we're gonna make it Point direction, pick random, negative 180 to 180. So negative 180 and then 180 right here. And then we're going to get a forever loop. So forever, if, we're going to get an if then, no, if else, sorry, if else. So if the color red, which is the color of the triangle, so we're going to get the, like the little eyedropper so we can see get the color. If the color, so we're just going to eyedrop it, there, that red color is touching the color black, this color if it's touching that then we're going to move one step so that means it's going to keep on moving forward so and then else we're going to get another if else statement so in here if else so if the blue which is the left left one so if the color blue we're going to get the eyedropper get the blue color and then if that's touching the color black which is the track then we are going to turn 7 degrees to the left because the blue is on the left side so we're going to turn 7 degrees to the left and then we're going to move 0.5 steps we're going to make it move a little slower while you're turning so then it doesn't miss the turn and then we're going to get another if else statement if else um uh what's that called uh we're going to get this sensing block and then when the color pink so we have the pink color right so we're going to select the pink color see Get the pink right there. See the pink color? If that is touching the color black, then we will turn 7 degrees to the right because the pink is on the right side. And we're also going to move 0.5 steps. We can just duplicate that. Put that down there. Else, when you're like dropping the cart, um, you're going to move 2 steps. And if it touches the edge, then we're going to bounce. Okay, so that's all the code. Except, oh yeah, one more thing. So in the beginning, when we fly clicks inside the backdrop, we're going to the backdrop. It's fairly simple. Switch the backdrop to pick random 1 to 3. So 1 to 3 because we have 3 backdrops. Okay, let's put them in order. 2, 3, 4. So yeah, like that. Save the project. Make it big. Okay, so we have the thing. Click. It's going to go over there. So... So you can see when there's like a little curve right there, it'll go up. Sometimes like when it gets to the curves, it won't detect it as well. If you saw that. But right now it's working okay. Um I don't think it's completely accurate. It works, but like I don't think I got the exact color of the cart. So I'm actually gonna make this like bigger, make it like five hundred size. So then I can drop it better. Maybe I didn't do it as accurately, so I'm gonna get the blue color you see that i think i think that was what the problem was the pink color make sure it's the correct pink all right now let's try it out but first we have to make this back to the original size okay save big screen play okay yeah so now as you can see it's working maybe it's because i didn't get the exact color because sometimes the color changes a little bit as you move so we're going to play another one, not a different one, alright. As you can see, it's working. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a simple line follower uh, project on Scratch. 
it's pretty simple. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.